Um, my name is uh, is Barry Gold. Um, I am a 23 year old man, and um, a lot of my friends, including my girlfriend Sandra, have uh, recently been complaining that I am obsessed with my phone and that there is a requisite for liberation, as uh, one of my friends put it, liberation from the phone. The first time I ever had a phone was when I was 13, yeah, but um, my first smartphone didn't come in until I was about, would have been about 19 years old, and, um, and I haven't really looked back since. Sometimes I feel I'm fitting my life into my daily phone, like the opposite of what you just asked me, which is kind of, kind of funny. I am a communicator. I'm on my phone a lot. I guess you'd call that my hobby, my interest. Sandra, um, talk about Sandra, talk about Sandra. <laughs> Worst three years of my life, to put it bluntly. Um, three years that I could have been, uh, you know, spending on my phone, watching my business prosper, but instead, in the corner of in my ear, I hear, get off your phone. It never stops. What do you do, though? I mean... <laughs> what do you do? He's on it when I'm trying to speak to him every single time. I mean, does he want to talk to me? Am I annoying? I just... I've asked him so many times, but he just... He doesn't give me anything. He just... There again, on, on the phone. I just can't handle it anymore. Yeah, yeah, um, it was about three weeks ago, or so, I was down at the beach, down at St Kilda Pier, and, um, I guess you're already assuming that it was, you know, waterlogged, but that's not the case. What happened was I was, I was sending an old text, just like most people do, and, um, it just stopped working. And I thought, well, what's going on here? And me, of course, being in the, um, it being my hobby, tele telecommunications, sorry, um, I went home as soon as I could. I'd left straight away, actually, because I was very worried and I was, I was, uh, let's just say, I wasn't not sweating, to put it that way. And um, when I got home, I, I got my screwdriver, I started undoing my phone, it was, it was quite hard, I was a bit paranoid that I might break it completely, and I figured out that because of the overuse on the buttons, the camera had actually um, succumbed to too much finger shock. I mean, this, some people say it sounds ridiculous, but I've, I've lost sleep. I've, I've lost friends, I can't keep in touch. I had to get a new number, you know, all the business partners that I've been making so I can I can get into my new production company um, for phones. Well, it's gone. That dream's dead. It's, it's hard to talk about. It's, it's good to talk about, it's good to get it out. Three years. It's been, I've been with Sandra, and it's, it's very restricting in regards to my phone conversations, because she's always, we had a fucking blah, 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 in my ear, and, oh. Sometimes I lose the little fella, and it's, it's hard, I get, I, I get used to it, but going a few minutes without the phone, it's, 
Okay, well, it's not very liberating, put it that way. <laughs> there was an embarrassing story once that I, um, I actually ran out of battery and I needed to make a phone call and everyone around me was chanting, uh, no battery, no battery, and I don't know, like, what do you say to that? What do you... It's kind of ridiculous that, that you know, a friend, so-called friend, would go to that level, but... It's worth it for the phone, I suppose. No, no, I've got it now. Oh, what did I miss? I've missed, like, seven minutes of stuff where I could have been talking on the phone, man. And, I mean... I can understand why she's like it, because when I met her mother and I saw her father on the phone talking to one of his boys, she came barging in and she said, uh, Harry, I don't want you on the phone tonight, this is your night off, and I was just thinking, oh, if, I, if it's going to be like that with me and Sandra, the phone comes first, you know? She's like a big blonde crow just sitting there going, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's every day when I'm trying to. Excuse me, Barry, I'm right here. <sighs> you had to find out sometime, didn't you? Well, I just can't believe you would say that about me. Uh, Here you go again. Jazzy. Hey, Barry. How you doing, brother? No, you, no I'm free. I'm, yeah, you are not talk free. Away. We're Nah, it's just the TV in the background. The TV. The it's TV. The 47 and you wonder inch why. Samsung, mate. Yeah. Well, the resolution's probably better than, you know, the actual content. Because Barry. I'm hearing a bit of yabba yabba over there. But, yabba you know, yabba. Oh. But, you know, I'm, I'm screwed with like this relationship, go, honestly. I'm, I'm done. Yabbing, and, uh, well, that's, Barry, that's hang like, up the phone right now. That's like, um, Barry. Well, what about on Wednesday? We'll catch up then. Yeah. You know what? You're worse than my father. Seven. That's the problem that we have here. Seven thirty. Yeah, and you I think thought, I can't I deal with him? A... I can't deal with you. Sorry, what'd you say, love? Great outdoors. Always been probably the biggest part of my life. Obviously, it, um, there's a lot more space in the great outdoors than there is indoors. So it's. It's a place where you can go on adventures and, you know, live life, basically, but the greatest part is, with the mobile phone, is that, well, as said in the name, it's mobile. You can take it anywhere you want. I always thought that, um, like, you know how in China they say a photo takes away a part of the soul? I think that, um, I think that the hands-free things take away conversation, like a part of the conversation, I don't know what it is, it's like the soul of the conversation is, you know, completely decimated by hands-free systems, which is why um, I'm the type of person that pulls over when I get a phone call, so it often takes me, you know, what would take a normal person 10 minutes to get to work often takes me about 45, so it's, it's definitely hard in that sense that I have to get up a lot earlier and um, I get home a lot later, but you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's definitely worth it because I just use my phone, obviously. Yeah, it's good. Well, my Blackberry is close to me. It's, you could call it a, a significant other. I've made that joke before to one of my mates. He obviously gave me a bit of an SC 101, um, but look, in the end, the Blackberry has the last laugh.